Okay, T, if I didn't plant her here, this video is under the law of fair use. I'm Iris Fairweather now if your content is not in the USA or laws of copyright do not work here. Finally, we grant it here now if you're 18 or under get out. Definitely want your light here or seen it's your time. Chosen one, the game is on your people are watching. And play the game and duel with all your honor and might. Now, set break your limits and battle on. Demo Lino, we need you. you. Hello everyone, Devin the One True Lion, the chosen one of Seed. Now, today I have a special video and we're doing it from my current resting area or that of Seed regulated bedroom. Now, first off, I would like to say that I do have a special guest today. She is my girlfriend. She will be appearing shortly. This is the first time she's actually going to be in my bedroom. And if anything, I'm a little nervous about it, so... And the whole, like, underwater setting, it just helps me calm my mood after missions and, like... Soothes the savage soul that is my warrior spirit. It just helps, you know? It sets the mood right. So, if anything, this is not actual water, this is like a hologram graphics that this mirrors. So, first and foremost... Please everyone, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below, hit that bell notification for future videos, and let's have Rachel in here as soon as possible. Oh, one last thing everyone, I swear, she's not Sally Acorn, it's a complicated story that y'all will need the inside for. Just heads up, do not call Rachel Sally, it literally triggers her beyond no belief that she that is literally her trigger mechanism so please nobody like in the comments or anything mention that she's sally all right she she doesn't like that coming dear Devin, darling i'm here where are you oh there you are how's everything going we're recording this little meeting, unfortunately, darling. I apologize. It's requested by the higher-ups. Seeds requested it. Right? Alright. Not happy about it, but at the same time, if the higher-up requests this unique little meeting, I guess we have no choice. Anyways, what is this about? Oh, by the way, loving your bedroom, honey. <sighs> If anything, I'm not excited about this, our actual first interaction in your bedroom. Please forgive me, and I'll, like, do a complaint later to that of Grandmaster Sid. Okay, I get it, but at the same time, orders are orders, and we have to follow them. Anyways, I'm hoping you're liking the music, and I'm glad you like my bedroom, actually. It's a lot of thought I put into it. Furthermore, for everyone not knowing, this is like the latest rendition of the uh, breezy beach of like the Balam's traditional music. So Rachel, what do you think of it? Nice, huh? Sets the mood. Please tell me you like it. I'm going to be kind of like a little disappointed if you don't. I actually do like it, honey, but at the same time, it's like... A different rendition of the same like traditional music down below on the planet's surface. But if anything, I'm guessing I'm here to talk about myself to like everyone on Earth 13 and around the universe so they get to know me a bit. So, let's get this over with. For those of you who don't know, I was once known as Robo Sally due to, let's just say, events on Mobius. So, a mad scientist named Professor Hojo, and even that, of another one known as Sid from the Neo Arcadia's, like, Empire. These two mad scientists found my memory and, like, overall mind components and, well, made me what I am. But, if anything, I was meant to be a tool for, like, absolute destruction and enslavement. I was meant to destroy Devin's current team and enslave Devin to, like, the science of mad creation's wheel. 
or will, if you will. And with that, that is seeing that I was way to get rid of the dark cleric energy from the dark cleric crystals out of my body and fill it with a new, more stable, safe cleric crystal that is the green cleric crystal. If anything, it's also got the white cleric crystals that are basically enhance everything else. So the green is really like a healing factor, if I would want to put it as Deadpool's version of a healing factor. But because of the white cleric crystals, it enhances everything it was. Imagine if Beerus would have called me over about more than nine times and I would literally come back from nothing. Devin has the same stuff as well, along with everybody else's cleric crystals in their bodies. I'm glad to say I'm with them, and I have been dating Devin for a while. I just can't help but overall feel like I'm the luckiest woman in the known universe to get to know Devin once again, my beloved Devin Lionheart. Now, I would go deeper into how we met in the first place, but... If anything, to the hardcore, like, I guess, fans of Sally Acorn, they wouldn't like to hear the truth of how we met and how Devin was actually summoned to Mobius around nine years old and spent nine years saving it. So, I guess that's a story for another day. But if anything, I work with Seed now, and I'm glad I do. And finally, I can't help but overall mention that when it comes to that of my commander, Lionheart, my beloved Devin, my boyfriend, I truly feel like I'm the happiest being in the universe. And those who are wondering, my height is six foot one. Mm, girls don't like to talk about their weight, but if anything, uh, I'm pretty tall, so... My average weight is that of 127 pounds for my height. I am very slit, thin, and strong with a broken healing factor. And also, the weapons I deal with are that of katanas that can wield my energy from the cleric crystals, and even that of a giant miniature cannon. So imagine a minigun, but it shoots out cannon fire with three barrels continuously spinning. Furthermore, I would have to say that despite my look and size, I'm not completely Mobiusin. They made sure to make me at least that of 20% Mobiusin from my features to my head features to the outside of my body. The rest of it from the inside underneath, other than like my head and my skull, it is literally that of human female features. So, yes. Me and Devin are together and I'm so happy. Taya still has a hard time recognizing that even though she resurrected Devin from over 10 million years ago, she, he's not the guy she wanted to be with. I feel so sorry, but at least she's with Zal in a relationship. That's awesome, isn't it, Devin? I mean, at least it's something for her. and I wouldn't say it's awesome, but at the same time, she's beside herself knowing that even though she was a Cthulhu god Eldridge that created, like, all life in the universe... And she gave me a unique gift of reincarnation for at least one time, 10 million years in the future. She's still beside herself knowing that I'm not the guy that I once was. I feel kind of bad for her, but at the same time, uh, God shouldn't meddle in the affairs of humans or like living creatures, you know? Next video, by the way. We're going to be all going on vacations for, like, the next couple of videos, and, like, the girls, me and the girls are going to Casa del Sol for some, like, beach time. 
I'm so glad you got me that summer outfit. It looks so cute on me. Iris is the early fair weather. has got a cute little one-piece bathing suit. Even that Legretta has something, but she doesn't want to show her body. And then there's that of Taya. She's, she's got an extravagant one. Aren't you going to, like, the new Platinum Saucer gaming thing, Devin, with the guys? I'm so sorry we can't have it together. Rules and regulations by seed for, like, the first vacation. I hate that. Yeah, I don't like it either, but if anything, like, we've decided on the videos we're gonna react on. Me and the guys, we're gonna do the, uh, reaction to, like, the Hell of a Boss video the first one it recently had to go down due to copyright reasons and lawsuit reasons don't ask too much into it everyone but that happened and y'all are going to be reacting one of the hell boss episodes the third episode the beach one so that goes with casa del souls thing and we're all we're both gonna both of our groups are gonna react to that of the uh home for infinite losers the first and second episodes but if anything, I won't be at the Platinum Saucer for reasons I've got a mission to do on my vacation first week. God dang it. I hate it. You gotta work on a mission on your holiday? I'm so sorry. How long is it gonna be? And like, how dangerous of a mission? By yourself? No! It's just a bit investigative work. They want me to check out an incident of a meteor that hit the planet below. But if anything, it should only take less than 24 hours. So, eh, it's no big deal, really. I wish you didn't have to. Anyways, goodbye everyone. We're outy. Right. Okay, take care now. Bye-bye then. We're outy. Excuse me, what?